It's time for the game show that no one expects. It's time for the IT Inquisition. We are here with our next contestant, Jacob Whittle. Jacob, Patrick uh, came in last week and got 47 points out of out of out of his uh, quiz. You think you're going to do well against him? Yeah, I think I'm doing great. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm the network administrator for the University of Portland right now, and I'm currently studying for my CCIE writing and switching. Great. So let's go ahead and get started. This episode is brought to you by Engineering Deathmatch, the premier technology configuration challenge on the internet. To watch episodes from more than four seasons, go to engineeringdeathmatch.com. So, Jacob, we are ready to get started, but let's first uh, tell the audience the rules. You're going to have 10 questions, nine of them technology related. They will be 10 points apiece. Uh, you are going to be timed in aggregate of how long you take to answer all the questions. For every 10 seconds that you take, you're going to get a point knocked off. So the faster you answer correctly, the better you'll do against your competitors. Um, you can pass a question at any time, but we will not come back to it. It'll be counted as wrong. So, what we're going to do now, we split our questions up into uh, six envelopes. Patrick chose one of the envelopes, so we have five left. One, two, three, four, and six. Which one would you like to do today? Let's go with number two. Number two. Are you ready? I'm ready. Timer, are you ready? First question. In EIGRP, what is the best path to a destination called? The feasible successor. Correct. What type of network allows users and devices to simultaneously utilize both IPv4 and IPv6 protocols? Dual stack. Correct. What is the per packet overhead of PPPoE? Four bytes. Eight bytes, incorrect. What is the administrative distance of an EIGRP external route? 170. Correct. What administrative distance causes a route to be removed from the routing table? 255. Correct. Within BGP, when we form a BGP connection with another BGP speaking device with the same AS, what type of BGP are we using? An IBGP connection. Correct. What is the appropriate command to list all successor and feasible successor routes known to a router for EIGRP? Show IP EIGRP topology all links. Correct. Yep. How many bytes smaller is the T TCP MSS than the MTU? 60. Incorrect. 40. 40. Damn it. What vendor agnostic P BGP attribute can we use to control which path has preference to exit the AS in order to reach a certain destination? Local preference. Correct. What was the name of the first domain name ever registered? Ooh. Pass. Incorrect. Symbolics.com. Ah. So, that's all your questions. Let's see how you did. All right, Jacob, how do you think you do? I think I did pretty well. Um, yeah, I think I did pretty well. I would agree. So, uh, in reviewing the questions and answers that you gave, you got a total of seven questions correct. You took 19 seconds to answer all the questions, so we're going to take off two points. So a total of 68 points for you. That puts you first on the leaderboard with Patrick trailing behind at 47 points. So we're going to have to see how our next contestant next week does and see how it shows up, but I think you're in a good spot right now. Thanks so much. Thanks, Jacob. What administrative distance can, can a route be? Ah, what administrative